And after 9-11, Muslims across the United States spoke out against discrimination and racism they felt was directed toward them. But Islam has actually been attracting more and more Americans every day. RT's Priya Shreeder went to a mosque just outside of Washington, D.C. and found out why so many Americans have converted to the religion. Listen. It's the call to prayer, and it's answered by more than a billion Muslims all over the world, including Caitlin Billings, a 22-year-old American who was raised Christian. I converted last year, the first of Ramadan. My mother, she was afraid that I was going to marry someone who would beat me. Um, she was crying a lot. Uh, she thought that I was like, betraying her by changing my religion to something that she didn't know about. Backtrack almost a decade ago to 9-11. Today, our fellow citizens, our way of life, our very freedom came under attack in a series of deliberate and deadly terrorist acts. President Bush waged a war on terror, targeting extremist Muslims who were labeled as terrorists. Many Americans, like Caitlin Billings, remember that time in the United States very well. You know, I was 14 when September 11th happened, so I didn't really know what was going on, if that really was Islam. You know, people said it was, so I believed it just like everybody else. But as Billings got older, she decided to find out for herself. And her investigation led her to the Mustafa Center, a mosque just outside of Washington, D.C., that has become a haven for many Americans like Billings who have found Allah. A new poll found that almost 40% of Americans believe that Muslims should carry identification cards, despite that 20,000 Americans every year decide to convert to Islam. These converts say they don't regret their decision at all. It's a choice that they must think about every day. Around the world since 9-11, Muslims have battled bans of their religious clothing, profiling in airports, and discrimination in their everyday lives. People that I knew since I was very small think that I've changed personalities because of this. They, they don't see past the scarf. They just see the fact that I've changed. After joining a class to learn more about Islam, Carl Dodge also decided to become a Muslim. One of the big jokes that I've always made is before I actually sat down in the class and opened my Quran, everything I knew about Islam I had learned from CNN, you know? And a lot of people are like that. So and there were some negative reactions. And when it comes to the mainstream media, the depiction of converts can be somewhat extreme. That Pakistani officials have arrested Adam Gadan. This is the American-born spokesman for Al-Qaeda. First, there was John Walker Lind, the Californian who converted, joined the Taliban, and ended up fighting with them in Afghanistan. And then more recently, it was Jihad Jain, the blonde-haired, blue-eyed convert who allegedly recruited people to wage violent jihad. And for many American Muslims, like Dodge and Billings, the portrayal of converts is disturbing. It does upset me a little bit because there's a lot of preconceptions people have. And until I actually took the time to open a Quran and see what was written, you know, that was my only impression of Islam is what I had seen on TV. And in the United States, they say a culture of Islamophobia just doesn't make sense. It's a right to practice your religion. That's what this country was founded on. Not only, <laughs> you know, is it supposed to be that way here, this country was founded on those principles. That's, you know, people that started this country were fleeing religious persecution. I just had somebody ask me the other day, is, oh, so are you against America now? And it's like, okay, I'm a, U I'm a U.S. veteran as well. I served in the U.S. Navy. And so I do believe in this country. I volunteered to defend this country. I volunteered to, you know, stand up for what the Constitution says. No matter what unfolds around her, Billing says she's proud to be a Muslim. If no one in the world wants to talk to me and be my friend, I still don't regret it. You know, I, I am completely happy right now. Happier than I've ever been in my entire life. A happiness that might not make sense to those around her. Priya Shreeder, RT, Annandale, Virginia.
And Priya joins me now for more. So Priya, you know, how do the converts in your story, how do they feel about this whole, you know, mosque controversy, the burning of the Quran? Because we talked about how Muslims all over the world feel about it, but what about those here in the United States, especially those who actually converted? I mean, they're angry about it, just like most of the Muslims in the United States. You know, for them, converting to this religion, uh, they had to change their lifestyles a lot. You know, they pray five times a day, as you saw in my story. You know, they wear head scarves. So for them, you know, because of all these transitions, they have grown into a community uh, where most of their friends and their family members, uh, you know, a lot of them have married Muslims as well. Uh, so, you know, they're more sympathetic and they feel that, you know, most of these actions, the people who are against the mosque uh, near Ground Zero or the pastor who was planning to burn those Qurans on 9-11 are speaking because they're misinformed, which is another kind of topic that I mentioned in my story as well. That's right. I mean, a lot of them had said, look, I saw one thing uh, in the media, but I wanted to find out for myself, so I picked up a Quran. I want you to just elaborate a little bit more. Well, on you that know, point. Dina, I think an important thing to remember is that, you know, although this country is supposed to be a melting pot and it's supposed to be very diverse, you know, that only happens in certain cities and different regions of the country. You know, there are places in America where people literally have never met a Muslim person before. So their only kind of uh, perceptions are shaped by the media and what they see on TV. It's just like the way people on the other side of the world have certain impressions of America because of what they see on TV. So for them, you know, all they saw was these wars in the Middle East, these very extremist Muslim terrorist groups, and then, you know, what the American media said about converts wasn't helpful as well. You saw Jihad Jin, you saw Adam Gadan. So their point is that there are very ordinary people who convert to Islam simply because they found this religion that they believe can give them hope and, you know, what everyone finds in whatever religion they have. And so they wish that there was more coverage of that kind of con conversion as well. Definitely an interesting story. Artiste Priestry there.